was the anniversary we will never, ever, ever forget right here. So we decided that we're gonna go to Florida. I we decided that we're gonna go to Key West. It was a beautiful day. I was like, you know, why not? Why not go out there and get some experience? So we decided that we're gonna go to Key West and go do the jet ski tour around the island of Key West. So we are at the location, as you guys can see, we're here, we're getting our breathing. It was there a little early. Um, so we were just walking around, taking a couple photos, getting sightseeing. So they're just giving us a briefing now of where we're gonna go um, if you're a first time or to ride the jet ski, etc. So my wife ride before, I ride before. We're not professional by any means, but a lot of people on the trip will say that they are professionals. Uh, we wasn't, but we definitely had, we know how to manage a jet ski. But the, the water, for whatever reason, this day it was really choppy. It wasn't choppy right here, but when you start going up, oh, like out more, it start getting like really, really wavy, and the wind start to get really strong. Um, my wife was a little bit nervous, and um, at first when we start um, going out, uh, maybe because two of us are on the jet ski, uh, I'm not sure, but you know she wasn't feeling it, so maybe that was you know a sign that we probably should have turned back. So, however. We was on our way out, we was going to do a practice turn run because they usually give you a practice run first to see um, how you can manage and to see what you can um, do with the jet ski before we leave. So it was very confident, um, you know, but it was definitely an experience to just to even be in these waters. I've never been in waters like these before, so there was we was going. Um, as, you, as I said to you guys earlier, it was really windy, you could see the wave and what really happened is that what made this trip was so difficult riding. Um, most of the people that was on it was really good riders, so we was like almost at the back of the, um, the, the crew. So the reason for us being at the back, we couldn't keep up with them because the water was so choppy and we didn't want to fall off and it was so deep. I was <laughs> was actually thinking about sharks, maybe sharks if you fall off and the, the guides was gone. Everybody was ahead of us. So she was kind of riding with caution as we go around the island. You know, remind you, it's approximately two to three mile ride. So it was a long, it wasn't a five minute ride. It was a good distant ride we have to take. Okay, so I was going and the jet ski, honestly, I thought it was gonna flow off of this thing. Cause it was so windy that day. I couldn't even believe how windy it was. She was nervous. I was still going, trying to keep, catch up with the crew, but we wasn't able to catch up with the crew. But you can see in front of us right here, like when they go, and if you come out of like that channel that they're traveling, it's like the jet ski started to set sideways, like with you, like you want to flip over. So you have to always try to stay within that route that they're traveling, because once the jet ski ahead of you, part the water, it's just like you leave like, it's like bankings. So if you try to climb on the bankings, which are the two out of these white areas you look at, it seems like it's trying to climb up on the water. So we try to stay within that channel. So however, we're still going with them. We're still riding, trying to catch up with them. And they was going fast. Um, we start getting really nervous now. Um, my wife was nervous, you know. I was nervous, but I didn't want her to know that I was nervous. I was trying to, you know, talk to her so she can be confident. However, we catch up, they stop, they was giving us like a tour, you know, like of what the monument looks like, all the buildings, all the rich people, all they live and who abandoned houses, etc. And then it was gone again. It was dark as well. Um, so I thought it was gonna rain. It was starting to get really, really dark. So maybe that's why the, the water was getting like so choppy and wavy. Um, it was going around the island and at one point, you know, she said if I could stop and take over from her because she was getting so nervous, I could really literally feel her arms shaking. Um, she still pushed through, I tell her to take her time on the ride, it's not no big deal. I would rather to be back safe than not to be safe. So, you know, however, we were still going. Uh, at one point, I had to stop and take over from her because um, she couldn't, definitely couldn't manage it no more. So they did stop. And I tried to um, switch over from her and take over and start riding. But it was the same situation um, when I was riding because she was at the back of the jet ski also when I was riding and she was still getting really, really nervous, you know. 
So she just was over this trip, you know. It was both of us idea to go out there and ride the jet ski. Uh, we didn't know the experience would have been this horrible. Uh, we're not gonna blame the guide. We're not gonna blame anybody else about this trip. Cause we never knew it would have been this rough. Cause we both ride before. We thought the waters would have been a little bit more calm. So overall, I'm not gonna say, guys, the trip was an amazing trip. Um, the experience was not good. But um, it's an experience, we tried it, and not saying that I wouldn't do it again, but this wasn't the way we planned it or anniversary to go. But if you want to go to Kiyos and you want to go try an experience like this, you can definitely give it a try. But I would probably recommend, you know, see what the day going to be like, see what the wind going to be like, you know, see what the weather forecast going to be like before you go out there. Because you might be a good rider, but going out there, uh, you know different jet ski up you, you know work different and different water condition so you might uh, ride a jet ski before but you might ride a jet ski like in a lake they don't got a lot of wave in the lake so the water stays more calm and the ocean is a whole different situation because the, the once the wind comes up it stays and it will stay for a long period of time especially in florida you know, kind of, you know, the weather, it got probably rain five minutes, then it stop. Then it rained two hours, then it stop. And that can mess play with the, the water condition. It was choppy. The current was extremely strong. I think that was the scary part of it. With the current being so strong out there, um, it was kind of hard to navigate through it. But however, it was a good experience. It was an experience that we'll never forget. But thank you guys again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.